Today, I would like to briefly talk about some of the areas in the building that are most susceptible for cross-contamination. So how do we determine what those areas are? It is by doing what we call a risk assessment. Risk assessment has three qualifying factors. First, the number of people or the population going through any given area, the number of high touch points within any given area, and the vulnerability of the population. So once we determine all those factors, we can then determine what areas are going to require more frequent and updated cleaning and disinfecting. So your high volume areas would obviously be the entryway or lobby of a building versus the sixth floor of a building where not everybody's going there. The number of touch points in that area. Again, number of touch points is most frequently going to be in the restrooms where we have flush handles, faucets, doorknobs or push plates, latches on the bathroom stalls. All these are high volume touch points that need to be cleaned and disinfected more frequently throughout the course of the day. Other areas which are more susceptible would be uh, keyboards. If more, more than one person is using the same keyboard, vending machines, doorknobs, handrails, light switches, all are touch points. So keep in mind that those areas should be cleaned more frequently to avoid the buildup of pathogens and pathogens or germs that cause disease and keep the safety of everybody within the building. Thank you.